So, I heard you just got your first software engineering job. Congratulations! Let's talk about what you can do to prepare before your first day. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shreya Malik. Here we talk about tech, career growth, productivity, and life as a digital nomad. Thank you for being here. If you're new here, um, I am a tech professional with five plus years of experience in the tech industry. You guys just saw my last vlog about what I'm up to now. And I am a digital nomad currently based in the Bay Area, California. So this is actually my very first YouTube video. Um, from this setup, so enjoy! Before we begin today, I would love it if you would like this video and consider subscribing to my channel. So today we're talking about essential skills that you need to develop before you go into your first software engineering job. This will help you stand out and honestly feel less overwhelmed when you first get there. It's already a pretty overwhelming situation and the more prepared you are, the better you'll feel when you're there. The way I've structured this, the first couple tips are pretty software engineering specific and the last couple tips are a little bit more generic. That being said, the last tip is definitely my favorite and the one that I live and swear by. So you'll definitely want to stick around for that. Um, before we get into it, I would love it if you'd consider liking this video or subscribing to my channel and let's get into it. So the very first skill that I suggest you develop sooner rather than later is familiarity with version control commands. Um, most tech teams have some sort of version control system, such as GitHub, for example, to control the versions of the code that has been edited by different members of the team at any given point in time. Commands such as git clone, git push, git pull, um, add, commit are just some basics that if you familiarize yourself with before you start on your role, you're going to have a much, much easier time once you actually get there. Number two is reading software documentation and actually trying it out. So you're going to find that in order to integrate with other um, third parties or just in general being able to use other libraries code or even your own company's code, you're going to need to be very familiar with how to read software documentation. If you check out anywhere on the internet, most web pages that explain any sort of documentation also has a also contains a section where you can try out different API calls. I recommend being very familiar with using an API call before you go in. That way you can learn about things such as a request, response, JSON body, parameters, and try out relevant tools before you get there. Number three, agile. Most of my tech teams, if not all of them, have identified as agile teams. And this basically is a framework that a lot of technology teams use in order to get work done. They do their work in two to three week sprints and have different ceremonies such as daily stand-up, planning, grooming, retrospective, etc. I would highly recommend checking out what each of those terms mean as well as just generally familiarizing yourself with agile methodologies so that you're aware of how things may work once you get to your workplace. Number four. Communication. This is something that sounds very basic, but in practice, in reality, I don't see everyone having mastered this skill. There is a very fine art to getting what you want to say across to your manager and making sure that your manager slash mentor slash whoever you're talking to actually comprehends that and that way they're able to help you best. Um, making sure that your manager is always up to date with what you're working on, what your blockers may be what your goals may look like. Sound like very basic things, but by constantly being able to express these things, you're gonna put yourself ahead of the game and get access to opportunities before a lot of other people just by being vocal about them. And the last, and honestly, in my opinion, the most important skill that you'll need is the art of Googling something. The art of finding exactly what you need, when you need it, where you need it, and being able to apply that to your code, to the way you work, whatever it may be, is going to save you so much time. That is a skill that software engineers work on throughout their entire careers. Um, and being able to find exactly what you need when you need it saves you time in the sense that you will no longer have to wait on your manager, mentors, peers, or anyone else in your company to find you those resources, to find you answers. Instead, you'll be empowered to find those exact answers yourself. 
And by doing that, you again put yourself ahead of most people at your skill level because that's a skill that we all work on throughout our entire careers. The sooner you start relying on Google or Stack Overflow to find answers instead of your teachers or teaching assistants, the sooner you're going to equip yourself with a skill that you'll definitely be using in the workplace. So there you have it, five essential skills that you will definitely be needing as a software engineer, be it as a full-time associate or as an intern. Again, congratulations on your offer. Don't put too much pressure on yourself on your first job. These are just some things that you can do to help make the process a little bit easier as you transition into the workplace. That being said, good luck. You got this. Thank you so much for sticking it out till the end of this video. I really appreciate it. I hope you learned something from this video. And if you have any additional tips to add to my list, please leave it in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts and I would love to hear what helped you your first few months or years as a software engineer. That being said, thanks again for sticking it out. Appreciate it so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.